What? No way. You guys, you guys, <laughs> check this out. I'm so excited. Look what just came. <laughs> oh, this thing is awesome. You know what this is? <laughs> I do. And I'm sure it's one of the first, if not the first. Let's get to it. All right, guys. LA Direct. I oh, love it. All right, let's tear into this. This came express to us. It was quick. And like I said earlier, I think this could be, if not the first, it could be one of the first. Yeah. Ooh. Oh man. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Here we go. Oh, bam. Look at that. You can only guess what this is. And over here, we've got some, oh, I shouldn't spoil it. Let's get this out first. <laughs> oh, all right. Fury Tech. Let's set this box aside really quick. <laughs> I can't show you the sides because like the FMS product, it shows you what it is on the sides. All right. Here we go. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. It's an unboxing for you. Now, other influencers have already had the Fury Wagon. That's no, there's, there's no questioning that. We actually had one. Um, we had to send it off to someone else. We had the red one. If you've not seen some of our shorts in Lake Powell and Paige, we had the red one. But this, this is an unboxing. I think, I could be wrong, but this, if not the first, it's one of the first with the actual Fury Wagon packaging. Um, because the ones that were sent out to all the influencers, at least all the influencers I've talked to, such as Ken and, you know, like Joe over at ExoCage, Tony at CCXRC, um, all those guys, their Fury Wagons just came in a plain white box because they were pre production. This is one of the first production models, I'm sure, in the US of A. And it's all thanks to Fury Tech and Fury Tech USA. Let's get this open so you guys can see it. If I can get it out. You're seeing it here first on the Hangar RC. Move this guy out of the way. Oh, look at that, guys. FX-118. What the front of it looks like. Got the Fury Tech and the Hobby Plus logos. It's so awesome. What this side looks like gives you all the specifications. And the back. Bluetooth. Oh, that's cool. And we got, this time, instead of the red one, looks like we got the blue one with the flames, which I'm okay with because it's super cool as well. Bottom doesn't have anything on it, and the top just says Fury Wagon FX 118. All right, let's see what this looks like. Here we go. That is beautiful. That blue is awesome. Oh, I love it. So inside, you get a manual. And it looks like some extra springs. I wonder if they're softer or harder. 
You get some mirrors with some little screws. It looks like a front bumper, a wheel hex or wheel wrench, and a USB charger. Awesome. Oh my gosh. This looks so cool. Look at that. That is cool. Stickers on the front. I'm not sure if ours had a sticker on the front the last time. Probably didn't because it was pre-production. That's so cool. Look at it. All right, let's set this aside. Let's get into the rest of it. Foam block and the TX, which is just as we expected. The last one we had looked exactly like this as well. Got your dip switches, carbon fiber, all your different features, your four channel, three channel, or fourth channel and third channel. Yep. Pretty standard uh, transmitter like this. I love these ones because they fit in the hand really well and you can drive with one hand if you need to. Um, for all of us YouTubers, we really like the one-handed driving concept because usually we have a camera in the other hand, but that's cool. All right, let's set this aside. There's nothing else in there. And let's tear into the beast. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Comes with this protective cover. Sanitize for your protection. All right. <laughs> that is awesome. Check it out, guys. Look how cool that is. I love the grill. Maybe you just didn't notice that because I don't have the front bumper installed. Maybe I like it without the front bumper. It looks more like a, like an F750 or like an uh, international, bigger, like a mid-duty truck, like a small semi truck. It almost looks like that with the with the grill off. Uh, I kind of like it. Obviously, you've got your Fury Wagon graphic with your flames, and there is even a little. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little like flag in there underneath the flames, like a a race flag. Fear Wagon, then you got Fear Tech logo and the Hobby Plus logo. That is so cool. I will be honest, when I had the red one, um, we only had it for a week. But when we had the red one in Lake Powell, this was painted black. And every time you put the pins in and out, it got scratched. So I kind of like the color match as opposed to the black. Although the black kind of makes it look like it has a bed liner. But... I think it was painted on the top of the Lexan as opposed to underneath because it would just scratch. So there you go. I don't like the blacked out windows on this and they're just stickers. So they've been painted over with this blue color and they're just stickers. I'm not a fan of the blacked out windows because I really like the clear windows on the red one. And from what I understand, the green one also has clear windows and both of the ones with flames have the blacked out windows with the stickers, which is okay. I mean, it looks, it looks great. Now that we've unboxed this bad boy, let's quickly run through the list of features that this thing has on it. It's, it's pretty epic. I've had the chance, like I said, I spent about a week with it. It was on the Red Rock of Southern Utah and I am blown away at the performance of this thing. It is pretty epic. So let's go through some of the features. So the first thing on the list, you'll notice, portal axles, baby. That's awesome. The next thing, Inside those portal axles, what Fury Tech calls bulletproof metal gears. So all gearing inside these axles are metal, which is totally awesome as well. The next thing on the list is a four channel transmitter and receiver. So very standard, uh, this form factor is used in a lot of different models. And so very, you guys should be very familiar with this, this uh, transmitter that I have in my hand right now. Um, Next on the list, let's jump down to the lights. These lights actually work. Let's see if we can plug this guy in so we can show you the lights working. These are cool. When we had our red model, the red version of this, down in Southern Utah on uh, Lake Powell, we didn't have a ton of time to play around with all the features. We basically just had enough time to break it out of the box and run it and film it on the red rocks. And if you haven't seen some of those posts we posted on Fury Techs, 
social media or on our social media, head on over there. We'll put links in the description below. Head on over there and you can check those out. There's the lights. Let's see what this button does on our transmitter. Nope. Doesn't control the lights at all. So, I don't know if you can program the lights. Uh, maybe they're programmable. But the button that normally pro uh, does the lights doesn't seem to do anything. And the three position switch that normally, uh, that normally controls a two speed transmission doesn't do anything either. And maybe I'm just not doing it right. I haven't read through the manual yet. Um, but as of right now, out of the box, box stock, the button there doesn't do anything and the three position switch doesn't do anything that I can, I can see anyway. All right, now that we've showed you the lights, which are pretty cool, that come on that light bar, that roll bar on the back in the, in the bed of the truck, let's go ahead and take this off. And let's look at some of the additional features under the hood. The next thing on the list we were talking about was these big bore oil filled aluminum cap shocks. And those things are super cool and super soft, super smooth. I love it. Here, let's try the drop test. That's pretty cool. <laughs> awesome. Um, next on the list is the LCG or low center of gravity anodized aluminum frame or chassis, anodized aluminum chassis. And you'll notice it has the Fury Tech logo and the Hobby Plus logo uh, engraved. I'm not sure it's engraved, but it is printed on there and that looks awesome. And look at all these mounting points for the shocks. Front, back, you even have different mounting points for your links. Look at all those. So you can literally tune this vehicle how you want it for your specific style of rock crawling. That is pretty cool from a stock rig out of the box. Uh, game changer for sure. And I know you've heard us say that numerous times, but this truly is a game changer. Next on the list. I don't know if you can see this, but the servo, there it is, is actually on the axle. So we have an on axle steering system, which is, you know, whether you like the stock looks of it up in the chassis or on the axle, you guys know the benefits from having it on the axle. That's pretty cool. All right. The next one is the biggest feature, in my opinion, of this whole rig. And that is right here, the Fury Tech Venom, that little brushless motor right there. It's a 20, it's a 1212 3450 KV motor. If you don't know what the 1212 is, it's the can size. So, it's a pretty cool, powerful little motor. And that little guy right there, the Fury Tech Venom, 1212, 3450 KV brushless motor is the heart and soul of this rock crawler. That motor right there is what gives us the Fury Tech slow crawl that we all know and love. Cool, moving on. The next thing, the ESC, which is actually stacked right here. See that RTR, RTR on there? That's the ESC, and that is a Fury Tech Lizard Pro brushless ESC, and it has Bluetooth built in. So you can get, download your Fury Car app from the Apple App Store or the Android uh, Play Store, and or the Google Play Store, I guess it would be called. So you can download the Fury Car app on your iPhone and totally customize and totally tune this rig to your liking. That is, once again, like the brushless motor in there, a game changer. Next up is extra clearance. Uh, this guy, let's go back to the body. Extra clearance Fury Wagon uh, Lexan body. This is Lexan. We talked about the differences in the different uh, bodies earlier with the blacked out windows and whatnot. So the two bodies with the flames have blacked out windows. The red and the green one have clear windows. You can see into the chassis and you can see that beautiful Venom motor doing its thing, which is awesome. So the, the Lexan body here has extra clearance. You'll notice that they've been cut out and cut out here. So you get that extra clearance for your tires when you're 
at full flex. The other thing that's on the body is the scale detail. You've got molded mirrors. You can see those right there. They actually have a metallic material in there that makes them reflect on both sides. And you've got this headache rack with fully functional lights. The next thing we're gonna touch on is on the wheels. These wheels sound like they're vented. They actually feel like they have foam in them. Um, nope, maybe they don't. Mm, I don't think they have foam in them. I think they're just vented tires, but they are internally bead locked wheels. So if you pull these off, and I'm not sure if you can even see that, but you can see the screw right there at the tip of my thumb. You can see that screw. That's how it's bead locked. So you can take those out and actually put another tire on and uh, run your preferred tire. The rims are actually really cool. I'm not sh a big fan of the blacked out look, but I never have been. So, but the design of the rim is actually pretty cool. Moving on, the battery. It's a 600 milliamp, 7.4 volt. That's a two cell LiPo. And I'll be honest, when we were running this in uh, Lake Powell, we got run time for days out of that little battery. It was pretty amazing. I, we ran it probably for two or three hours and we didn't even worry about charging it. It was, it was pretty awesome. So there you go. The next feature on this Epic rig, like the T-Word TRX4M, you've got a 45 degree turning angle, which is pretty cool. That was game changing when the TRX4M came out. So you've got the same exact turning radius on this rig as you do the TRX4M. The next thing, and we've already talked about this, but I'm going back to it because it's on the list, the widely adjustable shock geometry. Look at all those points from almost vertical. I don't even know if you can see that. From almost vertical all the way down to there. And then on the front, almost vertical all the way down to there. And not to mention the multi-point adjustable linkages as well on the frame. Lots of options here on this anodized aluminum frame. So not only through the Fury Car app, you can truly tune this to your preference. This is 100% tunable to the way you want to run your rig, which I think is, once again, I keep saying it and I'll say it again, a game changer for an out of the box rig, okay? And the very last thing they highlight on the features is the reverse rotation drive shafts. So very cool. Looks like the all plastic links, plastic drive line, and that uh, skid plate is plastic as well. However, when we were in Lake Powell, we didn't have any problems with it whatsoever. Let's quickly go over a couple more specifications here before we get you onto the run footage, um, just so you can kind of get an idea of how big this thing is. Um, and actually, we'll pull out some other rigs and compare it to it as well. So the length is 237 millimeters. The ground clearance underneath the portal axles is 41 millimeters. The tire size is, uh, it says on here, super soft 58 millimeter. So it's a 58 millimeter tire. And they are pretty soft and they actually stick to the rocks, at least the rocks of Southern Utah. Amazing. I was thoroughly impressed with these tires. Um, coil spring suspension, the electronics, are the 2.4 gigahertz four channel TX, uh, two, let's see, four channel RX, which is your transmitter and your receiver. And the receiver is a PPX four grade water resistant. Um, the battery once again is a 7.4 milliamp 2S LiPo. Sorry, a 7.4 volt 2S LiPo, 600 milliamp. The width of this guy is 125 millimeters. The wheelbase, is 160.7 millimeters. Uh, the wheels are internally bead locked and the proximate weight is 385 grams out of the box. That right there, once again, is totally epic and is a game changer for sure. Let's pull out some other rigs and give you an idea of how the Fury Wagon measures up to some of the other rigs on the market. All right, guys, let's get this uh, lid back on this thing and we'll uh we'll see if we can't compare this to some of the other rigs on the market 
There's the lights on. Body is held on by four clips. Four body clips. Two in the front, two in the bed. When I put these back body clips in, I like to put them that way. That way my big old fat fingers can get in there and, and work with them. All right, let's start off by comparing it to a standard TRX-4M. I'm gonna pull my Bronco here. My dusty TRX-4M. It's been sitting out here way too long. I need to get out and run it. Here's the TRX-4M in comparison. I'm gonna line up the back wheels. So the wheelbase on the Fury Wagon is actually a little bit longer, probably by about a quarter inch. I don't know if you can see that, probably about a quarter inch in wheelbase, the Fury Tech. Fury Wagon wins as far as wheelbase goes. As far as height goes, let's see if we can compare the two height. They're pretty close to the same height, minus the row cage and, or headache rack, if you will, and the light bar. So they're pretty close to the same height. There, once again, the wheels are pretty lined up, and you can kind of see how they sit. The body size is almost exactly the same length as far as front bumper to back bumper. So there's kind of how it stacks up against the TRX-4M. They're almost, well, the Fury Wagon obviously sits a little bit higher, but that's because they trim the body so that you could have more articulation. Cool, good to know. Next up, let's put it up against a regular Axial SCX24. Now, so wheelbase. Obviously, there's going to be a huge difference in wheelbase because the Axial is a 24 scale and the uh, Fury Wagon is an 18 scale. You've got about a half inch to three quarters of an inch difference in wheelbase. Height is hugely different as well, to be expected. And then length is about a half inch length. So half inch difference in length between the Fury Wagon and the SCX24. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, what's up next? What next should we do? Should we do a... <laughs> should we do the high trail? Now, we've got a clear winner on height. High trail, obviously. It doesn't sit a ton higher. I'm surprised, but it does sit higher. Wheelbase is almost exactly the same, if you can see that. And the body length, obviously, on the High Trail TRX 4M is a lot longer. Okay, so there you go. We've comp compared a couple really popular rigs with the Fury Wagon. So let's go get some run footage and let's show you this thing in action. It is epic. I promise you, you're going to love it. By the way, guys, if you want to know where you can get one of these, we'll put a link to where you can pick one of these up. Um, as of right now, today, they're still under pre-order. They're supposed to arrive on the 25th of September. We'll put a link in the description below where you can pick a Fury Wagon up. Let's go get some run footage.
All right, guys, thanks for joining me as we've opened and unboxed the Fury Tech Fury Wagon FX 118. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the run footage. This thing is an absolute beast. It's a machine. It will do whatever you want it to do. I was thoroughly impressed with this thing when we were running in Lake Powell in Southern Utah. I can't wait to get this out on the rocks and I can't wait to bring you guys along with me. Speaking of bringing you guys along with me on the trail, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and smash that notification bell so you can get all the latest updates when we release new content on this guy and many others. Plus, when we release our own new obstacles, you'll hear it first right here on our YouTube channel. And we hope to see you on the trail.